Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You want to be where you can see. Our troubles are all the same. You want to be where everybody knows your name. Hi, welcome to the last episode of Season 11. We are happy to present our finales of our segments and bloopers, though we are sad to leave the pitch behind. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For this week's school events, we would like to announce that spring pictures are April 5th. Today is the last day of the marking period, so on Monday you will be switching your related arts classes. Today is also April Fool's, so be sure to prank your friends and family. Just be careful. We also have a twin birthday this weekend that belongs to Carly and Lucas Razzi on April 2nd, so be sure to wish them a, hap a early happy birthday. Hi, and welcome back to the last sports report for season 11. For the girls, the Lynx game got canceled due to the weather, but the Thundercats played Maple Shade and lost 2-0. Also, the Alley Cats played Pitch Grove and tied 2-2. And now for the boys. The Lions played Haddon Township and also tied 2-2. Next, the Ocelots played Mount Laurel and won 1-0. That's it for this week's sports. Hope you enjoy our last episode. Hello and welcome back to this week's weather. Today is going to be warm in the morning and get colder in the afternoon with a high of 57 and low of 34. Saturday will have a high of 57 and low of 40. And Sunday will have a high of 16 and low of 37. That's it for the weather. Hope you enjoy our last episode. Last week's word was belligerent. The first winner is... Kimberly Mullins. The second winner is... Kara Conley. And the last winner is... Aiden Evans. Stop by Mrs. Skane's office to claim your prize. Hi, and welcome back to the Word of the Week. This week's word is pristine, which means to be clean or unused. Some examples of this word are... Because there were very few people on the island, the beaches were still pristine and beautiful. The 1957 Chevy was in pristine condition. Aiden Evans. Alessia. Alessia. Aiden Evans. Oh, the part about me. <laughs> My favorite part is the ending with Aiden. Me. Me. Uh, I kind of liked the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. It was very good. Drawing. Emily. Put on one. I like the candy bar thing. I like Challenge Accepted. I agree with both of them. <laughs> My favorite part about this season was the amazing Alessia Laura Cagliari and the amazing Emily Ward. My favorite part of this season's Pitman Pitch is the taste testing that Carly Brazzi and Emily Ward did. <laughs> My favorite part of this Pitman Pitch is Aiden Evans closing. Yeah, me too. My favorite part of the Pitman Pitch is seeing my friends be in it and have fun. My favorite part of the Pitman Pitch is Alessia. Alessia. Carly and Emily. Today is April Fool's Day. Meaning today is the day to prank others and get pranked. In honor of this prank filled day, we have decided to tell you about some classic pranks that you can use on others. Just watch out for these pranks yourself. The first prank is fake desserts, where you make normal food look like a dessert. So when they try to bite into what looks like a cupcake, they end up with meatloaf. This can also be done the opposite way with white chocolate that looks like eggs. 
Probably the most iconic April Fool's prank is hiding behind a wall or door and then jumping out and scaring the victim. Just be sure they aren't carrying anything or that you or them will crash into somebody or something else. As an easy one, if somebody lets you use their computer, take a screenshot of all their tabs, set the screenshot to the computer background, and then close the tabs. Then watch as your friend is confused why none of their tabs are working. Just be sure that the computer you do own only has icons on the bottom and not where the background would be. Otherwise, this prank will not work. As for the last prank, this one you can do as long as you have a computer, phone, or other device that you can play music on or a YouTube video. This prank is simply known as a Rick Roll, where you suddenly play the song Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. There are even some versions you can send to your friends that are disguised to look like a normal video, such as a clip of a puppy, only for it to be a Rick Roll. Watch as all your friends or enemies react to songs playing out of nowhere. Whatever prank you decide to do, be sure to stay safe and have fun. That's all for the segment. Hi guys, we are here at Alara's for our last episode of our rating and review segment. For the last episode, we decided to invite Miss Belle and her sister. So today, we'll be trying a few flavors and rating them. Hope you enjoy. You gotta go meet Miss Belle, guys. Hi, Miss Belle. Hi, Hi, girls. How are you? Good. Yeah. Alright, so what are you gonna try today? So, cotton candy. Kira. And peanut butter and squash. Let's do it. I'm going to say 8.5 out of 10. That was yummy. That was good. It's very good. I'm going to say it's 9 out of 10. Rich, creamy, an 8.5 out of 10. Very rich, very creamy. 8. Yeah, same, but I would say 9. It tastes just like that. I'm with Carly. That is absolutely, we need more, a 10 out of 10. We hope you enjoyed our rating and review segments with Emily and Carly. We wish the best of luck to the new cast and their creativity for new featured segments. I hope you enjoy the rest of the episode. So Emery, I have to show you this video. She's been working out. A sweet dress shirt blazer combo for you to wear for a day. Okay. And I'm the ref. Challenge accepted. So here are the rules. We're going to keep it clean. We're not going to get up. We're going to keep the other arm on the table and you're not going to lift your elbow up. You guys ready? Yeah. Shake hands. Take your positions. <laughs> hey, keep it clean. Keep it clean. Oh, no. that we had that hard-fought hard match and I actually won. My whole arm is sore now. Yeah, same. I might have to go home home. Yeah, I wish I could. Unfortunately for you, now you're gonna have to dress like me for an entire day and I know just the thing, just the look for you. <laughs> oh gosh. Students, this has been so much fun shooting this segment with all of you. Keep those great ideas on hold for now. Um, as we go into the next season of The Pitch, we'll see if anybody wants to take over this segment. 
hold on to your ideas, and Challenge Accepted will be back. This has been the final episode of the 11th season of the Pim and Pitch. We hope you have enjoyed the season. Be sure to use the word pristine for a chance to win a prize. Get ready for pranks for today's April Fool's Day. A great prank is this one. Gotcha! You thought I was going to wrinkle you again. Nah, I don't want the joke to get old. Anyhow, keep your challenge suggestions on hold while we transition into Season 12. Speaking of which, this is the cast for the next season. Jake Bowen Ashwin, Abigail Hale, Andrew Keefe, Jacob Nicola, Justin O'Brien, Ella Ralph, Logan Sharpneck, Olivia Wang, and Joseph Zuber. Now, for the final time, thank you for watching. Gotcha! You thought you paused it. Today is the national. No. Yeah. Starting this week, we will be <laughs> starting <laughs> a, sh a new segment called. Okay. Close this. <laughs> All right, ready? Watch this one. Hi. How are you? Okay. Um, Teachers, we know that students. Some. Come on, Aiden, bro. Yeah. Welcome back to this week's pen and pitch. Today is Friday, March 11th. Please stand for the pledge. Oh, oh, I, I thought we cut it. My friend doesn't deal with... <laughs> my friend doesn't deal with problems in a... <coughs> now let's start your training for real. On Thursday? No. His name is Fred was monotonous. And he's... Uh, okay. <laughs> there was a lot of Pittman basketball this week, and a little last week. Starting off with the middle school boys team. Nah, I'm sorry, never. Hold on. <laughs> that was done. This week's word of it... That's fine, we won't, we won't put that. Be sure to use Vigilant for a chance to win a prize. A friend reminder that you can email Miss Stewart for a... Uh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Slow down, Justin. <laughs> yeah, you need to go way Aiden. slower, Aiden. Way slower. Alright, let me just zoom this in one more notch, though. Hi. We'll be sent home next week, so make sure to get them as soon as possible. I messed up. Am I supposed to? Yeah, okay. Hi. <laughs>